Interesting. So, you know, I suppose I should have thought, I should have assumed that. So you're saying that that we can see see in the non-visible wavelengths reflections off of these of this non-visible matter. Is that right? Is that what you're saying? That's absolutely right. Okay. And it may sound strange, but when you think about it, almost everything you see in regular life, you're actually just looking at the light bouncing off something. If you look at the pictures sure. behind me, they're not sure. glowing. It's the room lights that illuminate them right. and you see the bouncing yeah. off light. The now, if you look right at the light bulbs, that's what you're seeing. Yeah. So the stars yeah. glow and they illuminate all these other things. But the specific extra level of measuring in non-visible wavelength, reflecting off of things that don't reflect any visible wavelengths is, is kind of the, the beauty of astronomy. To me, it's looking yeah. at invisible things, reflecting off of other invisible things. Well, in this case, uh, we often looked at clouds of, of dust. A lot mm. of the mass is dust particles, so little grains of mm. carbons, irons, silicates. And you think of dust as being basically like, like smoke, essentially, and mm. it's, it's dark, mm. but it's thin. So you can see through it most of the time. And so you don't tend to notice it in mm. most areas of the, of the sky where you look with a telescope, you see through a lot of that dust, unless you look right in the plane of our galaxy, where you're looking through lots and lots and lots of this material. And in fact, this was discovered centuries ago by people who thought that they might just be places where there weren't stars. And eventually they realized, no, it's that there's something dark in the way. Mm. That's where it's most concentrated. Now, it turns out that all of those clouds of, of dust are glowing. It's just that they are so cold that they glow mm. with a wavelengths of light that are far beyond the red end of the spectrum and so are sure. invisible to us. Sure. And therefore, you have to build a camera that is sensitive to light much, mm. much longer wavelength and much redder than what we can see. And that technology has taken a long time to develop.